Welcome adventurers, today you will see a let's play on the game called Empire of Ember and it's absolutely amazing game and combines everything, RPG, strategy, dungeon crawler and even a town building simulator. Oh, I love this game so much, but first I want to hear your honest opinion about Let's Play. Do you want to see them on my channel, or they are too boring and you don't want to see them anymore? Leave me a comment, I really want to know your opinion, and let's start a new game. And In so the, the story started. The Magical crystals that rain down from the sky onto Domus, causing fear and panic. Of the dominant races, only the humans overcame their fear with curiosity, and in so doing, gave birth to the Lightbringers. These brave souls unlocked the magical potential of the Embers, and created a powerful bond unrivaled by any other race. The Lightbringers came to dominate the world, masters of all they surveyed. But they were not beloved. The other races of Domus looked on them with fear and anger. Just when they seemed unstoppable, the Elves attacked. The assault caught the Lightbringers unprepared. The battle left their palace in ruins, their benevolence destroyed, and the Elves banished to the wilderness. Now, only the humans would enjoy the generosity of their overlords. In the village of Majas, a baby was found abandoned. The villagers adopted it as Manith the Lightbringer looked on in approval. Soon he saw great potential in the child and declared that he'd found an apprentice. And so, after years of being a dutiful assistant, the apprentice was ready to take the next step. Enter the tomb of Croth the Unyielding in search of the dead Lightbringer's ember. Well, my young pupil, the day has come at last. I am so proud of you. Soon you shall face the final test. The last thing that separates Apprentice from Lightbringer. I shall never forget the day you were brought to me. A nervous boy, a nervous child. Beautiful, just beautiful voiceover. And as you can see, this is some kind of character creation. But I will skip it and we will go straight into the dungeon. Everything is happening so fast. Are you sure I'm ready? The Tomb of Croth will be my first real mission. I have every confidence in you, but now you must learn confidence in yourself. I am an old man, in case it escaped your notice, and not even Lightbringers live forever. Every apprentice must at some point stand and succeed or fail on their own. I suppose we're done now. Yes, until tomorrow. Sleep well and don't let the pixies fill your head with dreams. The final challenge comes with the dawn. Good night, Master. Take a moment and your eyes will become accustomed to the gloom. Manith. What happened to my bedchamber? Is this a dream? It is not a dream, young apprentice. It is a test. The time has come for you to take the next step in your training. But... I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> you did not. A Lightbringer must learn to handle the unexpected. Always. <sighs> I'll do my best. Do you see the mace on the ground? Pick it up. And so the adventure begin. And this is my first dungeon. It feels odd. It is cursed. Yes. What? <laughs> You'll find out on your wedding night. <laughs> what kind of a test is this? It is a test of everything I have taught you. If you succeed, you will have taken your first step toward becoming a light bringer. And if I fail? Try to focus on the positive, my boy. Now, proceed down the hallway and we can begin. And the first dungeon will be a tutorial dungeon for a new apprentice, a future Lightbringer. Okay. What is this place? You are in the tomb of Croth the Unyielding. In life he cared only for power and broke a sacred Lightbringer tradition when his ember was interred with him. It is your task to retrieve it. That sounds easy enough. No one has entered this tomb in a generation. 
Look sharp as I open it for you. Come on, old man. Just open the tree. All oh. alone in an ancient tomb. You can do this. I didn't say you'd be alone in there. Oh. <laughs> I destroy some books. Wonderful. You have opened Just a portal to Croth's inner sanctum. Hurry before oh. it closes. I need to run. <sighs> and Cross of course I need to lean a mage chair. His magic car. animates their corpses. Such is the power of the ember. Their stench is awful. Strike them down as you see fit. They feel no pain. Ugh, disgusting. And what I like in this game, you can do multiple attacks from sides, from bottom, and from up in every direction possible. It's just amazing. And of course, you can block with shield. Okay, zombie. So I kill a few zombies, and you know there are so many possibilities in this Manif, game. Oh. Was this an apprentice who failed? Yes, oh, full no, no, apprentice. no! This wizard used his power for evil. You should take up his wand, though. It may I still don't have know. some life he left looks in good. it. Not evil at all. Oh, I can shoot with magic ball, and zombies throwing rocks at me. How dare they are! And by the way, don't forget that we can use a magic and throw something with our spells into the zombie. Masterful young apprentice, uh -huh. you're learning quickly. Of course, you must I'm know learning when quickly. to attack and when to run. How will I know which is correct? You always won't. run, of but course. Always remember your spell. Oh. It will buy you time to Poor decide. zombie trapped into the ice. Oh, now I'm just gonna run, run away. Do not be shy about embracing new weapons. That bow may be just the thing you need. Come There's on, zombies. something wrong with you. There. A crack on the belly. Uh, find a way to make it work. Uh -oh. Persistence is key for a master. Master, stop talking, please. Oh, no, you will not fall this day, oh my, my boy. God. Let me heal you. I died in the, in the tutorial mission. It was disgusting. And I'm playing not on hard, I'm playing on normal. Or something representing normal. Oh, and zombies slow me down. I'm under some kind of poison. Oh, mage, catch your breath. It's bad to play mages, they're so weak. He run a little and get tired constantly. Okay, but now I have a bow. Oh, zoom. <laughs> Very good. You can see endless, just endless possibilities. <laughs> Let's try to throw a bookcase into this skeleton warrior. Oh, skeleton, I must shoot you with the bow. Oh, -ho. so friends, if you still don't leave a like and still watching this video, it's good time to do it. Because this game is definitely worth it. It's really very, very good. Oh, come on, zombie. I need some kind of fireball or lightning spell. Oh, I'm... Manith, is that Croth? Oh, oh, it is. No. I had hoped oh, his was the sleep of eternity. God. I was mistaken. What should I do? Do your best. And pray that you succeed. Oh, of course boy. I will succeed. <laughs> Maybe. But this is tutorial and I am completely immortal. So he have no chance at all. Where are you? Take the arrow. Classical, classical dungeon with a boss in the end. And the prize, the prize will be his ember. And I need it to become a true light bringer. <coughs> no. 
Is you he... will die today. Is he gone? <laughs> he is. Now, I step saw forward him and here. take the ember from Cross resting place. <laughs> you have earned it. That. Oh my god. So, what do you think about this game? Is it good? And let's collect some loot, by the way. Hmm. It's time to take the ember. Croth's spirit evaporated into the ether, and our hero carefully picked up the ember crystal from its stone tomb. He had never held one before. It was lighter than he'd imagined, almost floating on its own. Oh, but so the power sweet it contained ember. was evident from the moment our hero laid hands on it. It was a thing of beauty and mystery and great responsibility. I don't know about responsibility. I just want power, power. Our hero packed the ember away for the return trip to Manith's tower. The old Lightbringer would know how best to begin the teaching. Manith, why did you not bring me back to your tower? I am sorry, young apprentice. Oh my God, Here's something where interfered I interfered with my spell. Please hurry inside. Okay. Is this my castle? Warriors there, ready to fight. There's a stench in the air, Manith. I've never smelled anything so awful. You I've just spotted an army of goblins approaching outside the city gates. Mm -hmm. Ah, vile things. No goblins, you have no chance at all. The best light bringer, the best wizard is here. You see, the battles will be just insane. Hundreds of my men and hundreds of goblins. Oh, like in good mount and blade game. Do you remember this game? But it's fantasy game. Fantasy mount and blade. Let's try to use some magic. Can I take this rock? No. Oh my god. Barrel. Let's try you. It this was is not a barrel. Goblins aren't ever this organized. Some other force must be guiding them. They're everywhere. I need you to evacuate to safety. There's a portal near my tower. Go there to escape. But man, portal. I can help. No. The light where is this know portal? when to fight and when to flee. Take the portal now. But where it is? Oh, I see the portal. And so the brave hero, the future Lightbringer, bravely escaped the battle. <laughs> but I can barely run, cause I choose only mana, willpower during the character creation, and don't choose constitution at all. But look at that. It looks so good, really very good. Okay. From a hilltop a safe distance away, the apprentice watched as the city burned and the goblins slaughtered innocents. The apprentice looked at the ember shard and wondered what good power was, if it was not used for those who needed it. Unable to stay away any longer, the apprentice rushed back to the city, praying that it was not too late. Our hero could hear the wailing even before reaching the city gates. Everything it was soon destroyed. joined by the crackling of flames and the hopeless moans of the dying. As he climbed over the rubble of the front gates of the city, the horrifying reality was made clear. Majas had been destroyed. Manis' once great tower was a ruin, and otherworldly lightning flitted across the sky like ghostly claws. Our hero rushed toward the tower, toward Manith, even as he dreaded what he would find inside. So sad. Our hero found Manith dying on the floor of his chamber, the blood escaping from his wounds faster than any bandage could stop. His powerful magic was useless at this moment, as he faded in and out of consciousness. There was nothing to do but cradle his body and wait for the end. With his final breath, Manith whispered, It's your time now. Uh, avenge this. I will, Master, I will. Our hero knew that Manith's ember crystal held the seeds of rebirth within its shiny facets. There was blood to clean up and death to avenge. But right now, the people of Majas needed homes. 
and our hero suddenly understood the responsibility Manith felt every waking hour. Ah, there you are, Lightbringer. Mm, my condolences. I can't believe my master is dead. How could this have happened? I don't know who is responsible, but it seems Manith had enemies more powerful than any suspected. I believe he sacrificed himself to ensure your escape. What about you? You don't seem shaken up at all. I knew your master my entire life, Lightbringer. I will grieve in my own way when it is time. But our priority now must be survival. And now when my master is gone and I am responsible for all of this, I have to rebuild the mage tower and revenge. Yes, I must have my revenge. I will just simplify because I don't like building a lot. But I know a lot of people will enjoy rebuilding your castle, your town. Excuse me, my lord. I bring some good tidings, at least in these dark times. I have discussed matters with the surviving members of the council, and everyone has agreed to remain by your side and serve you however we can. Oh, how generous of you. And hmm, it requires true leadership. I have true leadership. Nice. That seems very possible, my lord. May I ask why? We must rally the people to our aid wherever we can. We can't afford another attack. Very wise. Your calm response to this crisis speaks well to your good character. Manith chose his apprentice well. Your message of positivity will attract many eager new soldiers. So I gain four peasants and four archers. Very nice. It's the beginning of my army, of my horde, my invading unstoppable force. While in wintering Manith's possessions, we came across this mask. While inventorying Manith's possessions, we came across this mask. Abos held up a white mask with curious red markings. The assassins wore this mask. Those markings live on in my nightmares. We continue to scour Manith's archives for information on it. We may never know why they did this until we find them. So, the mask is the first clue. The mask is the key to finding mana skillers. Keep looking and have a drawing made of it. Spread it through the countryside. Indeed, the word will get out. That's a very shrewd move on your part, my lord. The mask wearers won't be mysterious for long. We will find them. This is your wizard tower. You can interact with different objects. There is a quest waiting for you in the throne room behind the lion head. Okay, okay. So that's my magic tower. I always dream about my own magic tower. Now it happened in the game, but who cares? Now I have it. So what do we have? We have a town to rebuild, our magic tower, a clue, a mask that will lead us to assassin of my master. But first, let's open this door because it's a little bit annoying, somebody knocking on it. Abos entered the throne room and gave his terse bow to our hero. My lord, we've had some success in our hunt. We haven't yet located the masked assassins, mm. but we did find the goblins who did their bidding. Goblins? No way! Where are they? The little bastards infest the hills west of Brineberry. Oh, the goodness. foul creatures live in their own filth. It's horrendous. Our scouts nearly gave their positions away by vomiting into the bushes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good scouts! Horrid things. 
Wipe them out, my lord. So quest accepted. We must the deal sword on the with some is goblins. Our traditional call to arms. Okay, I understand that revenge, my master, is very important. But what they did to my scouts? Oh, it must be dealed immediately. So let's gather our army. And as you can see, we will have a lot of soldiers, but so far I can only train farmer, who has a special ability of being cowardly and over a helm. Oh my god, it's because I build a farm, now I can train farmers. Farmer, how to train you? I should rest upstairs oh. while my men undergo training. Wait, wait. And I remember I gained some army for have a good leadership, so let's take them with me. I will take everybody with me. Come on guys, let's build true farmers. Time to move. And now I have to rest, but before I go to rest, there is one little thing need to be done. Something need to be built, cause I have only a wizard tower and this farm, farm is still building. But what I need, I need to build this axe right here near my wizard tower and this barrel right near this axe. Now I'm happy and can go hunt some goblins. And I see I have now 48 men. I have 50 before, but two of them go training to become a real soldiers. So let's go back and now we will go and rest. Until tomorrow. And while resting, we can spend our time to enchant on alchemy or research spells. Hmm, let's research spells. And here we have a mini game. Nothing found, spell books, okay. Roll again. No, roll again. Oh, 12, no way. Okay, I am too bad at researching spells, so I will do it next time. After having a good sleep, I have to go and deal with goblins, cause it's my quest. And by the way, near this desk you also can research a new spells. Okay, let's go straight into the portal. Equip weapon. Okay, okay, I get it. I will equip this magic wand, cause I'm wizard. Level 1. <laughs> Neophyte. Actually, not very good. I already know this spell, telekinesis, and what is that? So this is a simple spell that illuminates area, it will be very useful. No more time to waste, let's travel. And here we have a giant giant world. And we can move and explore it, we have a little army and a quest, hunt for the killer, chapter 1, track down the goblins camp. I will go this way and then I will go and explore everything. But first let's pay this goblin a visit and let's see how combat will look like. And there is a day and night change. Exciting, very interesting. At the edge of the hills our hero gathered with his army. Their lead scout was a sun-baked woman called Heradan. She hitched her thumb at the rolling green hills behind her. I did a preliminary mm. scout, and be warned, those hills are riddled with goblins. Nasty little buggers are everywhere. 
I just need to find some link to the white mask. Once I get that, the rest of them can rot. Just don't let your guard down. The goblins are relentless. Are you sure you don't need me? I need your scouting eye, not your sword in hand. Aye. Then save one of the buggers' pelts for me. I need a new saddle cover. <laughs> and so, this is how combat will look like. And as a commander, I can command my units, but I don't want to do it. I want to go personally right into the middle of the battle and deal with these goblins. So my archer and my brave or maybe not so brave peasants follow me. It's time to pay these goblins a visit. Oh, it really reminds me Mountain Blade. But with all that magic and fantasy creatures, it's just amazing. Oh, it seems that we are winning. And who are you, big green and ugly and evil goblin? It's a crossbow goblin. Take that goblin. Oh, peasants, I don't want to do it. It was a mistake. And I level up, friends, I gain a level, let's do it. Hmm, so I gain a level and now I can increase, I will increase willpower, of course, cause I'm a mage. Can I increase this one also? Yes. Now I'm level 2 and I'm extra powerful. Where are you goblins? Where are you hiding? It looks like trap, really. Peasants, why are you not following me? Look at the pigs. The cow lion just resting here. This game is amazing. It combines so many things together. Oh. It was some loot in this crate? No way. I think I go wrong way. My mage is so tired, he just can't run. Guys, do we win? What to do next? Maybe... We need to take something from these goblins. Hmm. Or talk to someone. <sighs> Our hero led the army in searching the goblins' encampment such as it was. The goblins were no more than a step above animals. So it was surprising to find a note in their possessions, written neither in the king's script, nor the chicken scratches of the goblin language. Our hero tucked the note away. It would require further study back at the tower. So I should study it when I back into the tower. Uh, <laughs> it's a known goblin language. I know it's not goblin. So, the first quest is completed. It was a victory after all and I found some note. It's already dark outside. But like... Oh, they escaped. Guys, can I interact with you? No. For some reason, no. So, let's go back to our tower. And rest, and of course, research this note. With the ember I've collected, I should further decipher the research notes at my desk to draw forth new abilities. And here where I will need this desk. Okay. Oh, a lot of spells actually. So, I get Ember, and with this Ember I can research new spells. 
Hmm, good, it's good, and I will chain lightning. Oh, my favorite one. I'll take that. So, friends, that will be end of my Let's Play video. Please let me know, do you like it? Do you want me to make more? Or I just have to stop immediately? And of course, don't forget to like this video. Was glad to see you. And if you want to see more adventures in Empire of Ember, just let me know in the comments below. See you!